My name is Lauren Lau, and this is my adventure in Grand Colombia. Okay, this is the little side road just before the mall. It's actually right next to the mall. And we come down here, and at the end of this little side road is the apartment building. So I'm meeting, I've already signed the contract, um, I've already paid the money, and I'm meeting with them in a few minutes uh, to get the keys, register with a guard, uh, show me, you know, where to, where the trash bin is. There's chutes, you just walk out your apartment, a few steps down the hall and drop it in a chute. And uh, I'm on the 10th floor, so it's gotta be a fun little drop. <laughs> Well, let's, um, let's go down and wait. I'm going to point out here, uh, this little alleyway, the structure on the left is the back side of the mall. Right here is the parking garage for this apartment uh, complex. And then the towers are behind that. So to get to the mall, we have a private entrance. Use your fingerprint. So you walk through the garage. Uh, there's a, you can see right there is a walking bridge. See right up there, there's a walking bridge, and right there is the door that you fingerprint, and you go into the back of the mall. How cool is that? And this mall has um, movie theaters. Uh, I think there's six screens. I'm not, I don't remember. And they'll even once in a while have one in English, but that's not very common. Okay, this is the entrance to the towers. Now right here, um, because the second tower is new, this will be the guard station. And then you can go into, actually both towers are connected. Uh, so you go in there and this will be the lobby. But it's not really set up yet. As you can see, it's empty. But it will be soon. And for now, the guard is right down here as you're coming in really to the Tower 1 area. As I mentioned, I was here before, um, over three years ago, looking at one of these apartments, which was right up around there. Uh, this Tower 2 didn't exist then. Uh, tower 2 begins where that gray ends. But I like the view. You can see here, well, maybe you can't see, but uh, the guard was curious as to why I was talking into this. So this tower too is, is new and there's very few actually uh, that are being used. So these are all for sale. I think there's one or two that were bought and are now up for rent. But as I mentioned before, it's not an apartment building in that you just, they build it to rent. They build them to sell and then the individuals will rent. Uh, the apartment building name is actually 360 Apartments, uh, which is unusual, but I guess, you know, they like to use a, a gringo word. It just sounds more exotic. Okay, my parking is on the fourth floor, and uh, we're right at the, outside the apartment now. Big entrance. So coming in, we have these closets, just extra storage. Nice big balcony. This is kind of uh, rare, We've got a separate dining room. Little window there. 
of the little side entrance to the kitchen. And kitchen got a fair amount of cupboard space. And there's no oven, but I bought that portable oven that works great, and so it's not really an issue. That's where the washing machine goes. Okay, bathroom number one. We've got nice gravity shower heads. The pressure here is crazy good. Okay, this is bedroom number one. This is uh, this will be set up for a guest. I'll put my old bed in here. And down the hall, this is my video studio. And for a few dollars, I think eight dollars. I paid them extra to paint this wall for a green screen. So it's perfect. How awesome is that? You may not realize how important that is, but it's very important. Got a nice view here and some nice sunlight coming into the studio. Over there is medical buildings. Um, Parque Fundadoras is right behind that building. And down below here is a little river or a large stream. And I'm told that all through here, it, in the evening, it creates a, like a natural air conditioning. So this is where the bed will go. I have decided which way. Headboard there or headboard there. Obviously it's designed to go the headboard there with a nice view out of this good size window. Light and we come in here and we have a, a separate oh, needs a light bulb. We have a separate uh, room for your clothes and storage which is kind of nice and that's the, where, there's the gravity shower head I was referring to, and I'm getting the keys actually right now. He's waiting for me to stop filming and good size balcony. This is, this is nice. I could put a, I could put a couch out here on this balcony and I may. Maybe that's a little better shot of the dining room. I don't know how big it'll look, but that opening is probably six feet, maybe eight feet wide. Diaz Piso. You get two elevators per tower. car wash how handy is that it's really more of a detail What an interesting group of clouds today. You got the big puffy ones in the back. You can see it's blue and sunny. And then you have this low hanging layer of dark rain cloud. It's very cool. Literally, it's cool. It's a nice 
cool breeze going on a little stronger than normal and maybe you can see the mountains in the background wow sometimes videos just can't do it justice it's, I'm telling you it looks pretty amazing Okay, check that out. Over there, it's blue and sunny. Then right there, you have a dark line of demarcation with a rainstorm going on. And then it ends right about there. This is very cool. And here, that dark cloud is kind of going away. All right, let's do a grand tour. This is my bedroom. That's my walk-through closet and bathroom. It's TV on the wall. Keep in mind, it hasn't been cleaned yet. It just got things put away. Here's my studio. So I can step in here away from the glare. That's the green screen. I have a place for all my stuff now. And here's some behind the scenes. This is where it happens now. All right. That's my Wi-Fi. I'll be putting a shelf up. I have to get a white extension cord and then it'll tape to the wall and that'll be up on a shelf. This is my guest bedroom. So if you come, you'll have a TV. That was here. I don't know what to do with it yet. Another bathroom. Uh, entrance storage. Don't have much in there. And here's a living room. And the nice thing about this living room is these sliding doors open up wide. Maybe now you can see how wide it opens. I can't put my arms from one side to the other. It's my old chairs. Um, they're dirty. I want to uh, get them actually reupholstered because the structure of the chairs are really good. And reupholstery, as we know, is quite inexpensive. Here's the other one. A little coffee table there. And I step out here on the balcony. And I've already shown this, but I'm showing it again. And we got the mountains in the background. Now, the upside is this building is positioned in the strangest angle so that there's almost no direct sun in the afternoon into these windows, which, uh, as many of you know, can get quite toasty. Right over there is Parque Fundadores. You may recognize that building if you've been here before with the green roofs. And right across there... Um, with the blue posts underneath that new high-rise is that uh, Bolivar Commercial Central, which I really like. It's got the uh, four or five floors. I've done a few videos there. Then right over there behind that uh, yellow and brick, you see that little white roof. Uh, yeah, you see that little white wall sticking up. Uh, that's Unicentral Mall. And right down there, that sole tall building, is the Candillo Government Office Building, which is sitting right at Bolivar Park. So that's all Catorce, or Bolivar Avenue. 
running down through there and I lived back over that way okay so here we've got this amazing little river and you notice how dark green the foliage is in this river and this of course we always have the breeze it exists here also but it blows down through here and brings that cool air right up into the apartment it's it's as much as 10 degrees cooler here than it was in my other place the other place was comfortable this is awesome uh, this is more of a temperature like I was getting in Manizales or even Cuenca. Okay, and uh, you got a couple cows grazing there. Like I said, you got the mountains in the background. Now, um, the upside, as I told you, was the position of the building. Now, the downside is I don't have a, a clean view of the mountains, which if I could go to the left a little bit more, it's quite spectacular. But I have that. And I sit there and have my coffee in the morning, and I can look out, and it's, it's gorgeous. And here I am sitting in Armenia, but it looks like I'm almost in the countryside. And then the sun sets right over there behind that new high-rise building. So I get the colors that splash around it, but I don't get a direct view of the sunset. So those are the downsides. Now, how often do I really look at it? Not that much. And this river here... Um, I'll tell you, it, it's it's awesome. This couldn't be better laid out. So, very happy with that. All right, enough of that. This is the dining room. And um, that's a nasty sofa, but it's part of those chairs. Again, I want to get it reupholstered. It'll be a very nice set then. Now, I want to point out this furniture. It looks nice. I'm on a camera or video it is the cheapest crap it's hard as a rock when you sit on it it's not comfortable at all uh, it's a long story how I got it but it did cost me about two hundred dollars at one point so this sofa two foot stools that corner thing that doesn't really go anywhere it doesn't fit in the furniture is sectional one day maybe I'll put a TV up there and then I've got the kitchen. I put up my uh, clothes dryer here. Extends out. Tried it already. I would like uh, maybe one more cupboard, like over the refrigerator, but it's, it's fine. It's about the same as it was in the last place. And I have this little countertop here. Then I've got this laundry room. It's got the, uh, got to have a sink. This is the first time that I've used one of these hot water heaters uh, since I came to South America that works absolutely perfectly. It's, it could not be any better. In my first time in Cuenca, when I lived in Hiron, when I moved back to Cuenca, when I was li living in this last building, they always had issues, could never quite get them adjusted right. This one, it, it's a Bosch. It's my second Bosch, but this one is absolutely perfect. And I've got a uh, place to hang clothes here to dry. Your clothes dry here uh, with this breeze. Uh, well, I've done two loads already, and I would say four or five hours and they're dry. So it's pretty awesome. And of course, my ultra cheap washing machine and um, that's it on the inside of the apartment